The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 44, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on July 31st, 1973, in London, England. Translation. Alas, how strange it is that we are preparing to commit greatly sinful acts driven by the desire to enjoy royal happiness. Ahavato mahatvapam kattam babusitabhyam jadraja sukhalobhina antam sajanam uddata. So, sometimes uh, Arjuna is accused, Bhagavad Gita is also accused, that there is violence. There is violence. Bhagavad Gita is full of violence. Yes, it is full, full of violence. The war field. But uh, here, the Vaishnava thinking, Arjuna is thinking, <coughs> that it was uh, arranged for his. Uh, Rajya Sukha, Jad Rajya Sukha Lobi, Lavi. It was arranged for the satisfaction of Arjun so that he could enjoy the kingdom and the happiness there. Actually, it was not so. It was arranged by Krishna for his satisfaction, not for Arjun's satisfaction. So that is the difference between uh, ordinary work and devotional service. Devotional service and ordinary work, they look almost equal. Just like we are living in this house, the neighbors, they may think that some people are living here chanting, dancing, uh, we also dance, we also sometimes sing and eating, they are also eating. So what is the difference? Uh, they may think that what is the difference between devotional service and ordinary work? It looks almost equal. Uh, therefore people misunderstand that Bhagavad Gita is ordinary warfare and violence. But it is not that. It is arranged by Krishna uh, because to fulfill his mission, his mission is paritranam sadhunam vinasaya chadrishtika. That is his satisfaction. Uh, not Arjuna's satisfaction, not anyone's satisfaction. It is his plan. Uh, he comes, he descends on this planet in this universe, just to establish uh, the real purpose of religious life and to kill, to vanquish those who are opposing the real purpose of uh, life, human life. That is his mission. Simultaneously, two things. Puritranayam sadhunam vinasaya So, Sajanam Ahovato Mahat Papam Kartam Babusitabhyam Jatraja Sukhalivana Hantam Sajanam Adhati. Sajanam means kinsman. So kinsman does not mean in a higher sense only my brother or my sister or my father or my uncle. No. Sajanam means all living entities, uh, because uh, one who hasn't got Krishna consciousness, his ordinary consciousness, material consciousness, he cannot think in terms of sajana, my kinsman, all living entities. He cannot think. Uh, actually, everyone is our sajan, because if God is Father, as Krishna claimed, 
अहंग बीज फोज पिता इफ इज द सुप्रीम फादर नॉट ओनली ही क्लेम्स एट लीस्ट एनी फाइन रिलीजियस सिस्टम क्लेम्स गॉड इज द ओरिजिनल पावर दैट्स अ फैक्ट अहम सर्वस्व प्रभव मत्त सर्व प्रवर्तते एवरीथिंग हैज कम फ्रॉम हिम ही इज द सुप्रीम फादर इफ कृष्णा इज द सुप्रीम फादर ही इज फादर ऑफ एवरी वन सर्वजोनी सुकौन तय इन ऑल स्पीसीज ऑफ लाइफ इन ऑल फॉर्म्स ऑफ लाइफ दे आर ऑल आवर सजन किंग्स मैन हाउ इट कैन नॉट बी बिकॉज कृष्णा इज द ओरिजिनल फादर This is Krishna consciousness. Uh, therefore, a devotee of Krishna does not uh, want to commit a little harm to any living entity. That is uh, Krishna consciousness. Vidya vinay sampanne brahmani gobi hastini suni chita sapaki cha pandita samadarshan. Pandita, one who is learned, is samadarshan. equal vision not that uh yes krishna is equal vision uh the picture krishna is embracing the cup he is not only embracing the gopis but he is embracing the cup also cows also uh, samadarshan for krishna the gopis the cup and the cows or anyone in vrindavan who has come to serve him they are all equal Yeah. Somebody wants to serve Krishna as cow. Somebody wants to serve Krishna as cow. Somebody wants to serve Krishna as gopi. Somebody wants to serve Krishna as cowherd boy. Somebody wants to serve Krishna as his father. Somebody wants to serve Krishna as his mother. These are the different mellows, uh, different tests. Uh, every living entity has got his own test. How to love Krishna? But the central point is to love Krishna. Krishna also reciprocates. He has no discrimination. That here is Gopi, beautiful girl. Therefore, I shall love her more than the calf. No, Krishna is not so partial. Similarly, Krishna's devotees also, because he has Krishna consciousness, means he has got now a minute quantity Krishna's quality. Therefore. He is also equal to everyone. He thinks everyone sajana, the same member of the same family. Uh, it does not matter if one has become ant or one has become elephant. Uh, the living spark, the soul, is the same dimension either within the ant or in the elephant. Uh, this dimension of the soul we have different several times discussed. Uh, one ten thousand part of the top of the head. Kesagra sato bhaga sa sato dhakul pita sa to jivo bhaga sa vidya. So ananta ya kalpat. That is the dimension. In Shastra we get the dimension of the soul. Very very minute. One ten thousand part of the top of the head. Just man. So that portion is within the ant and within Brahma and within elephant. Therefore. One who is pundit, one who knows what are these souls, spiritual parts, part and parcel of Krishna. If he has got full knowledge, then his vision is vidya vina sampanne brahmani gobi hastini suniche cha sapake cha pundita samadarsana samadarsana equal vision. A learned brahmin is most intelligent man in the human society, and a dog. Uh, superficially, externally there is much difference. Here is a dog, a street dog, and here is a learned Brahman. But one who is pundit, one who is Krishna conscious, he sees that the pundit and the dog they are the same because they are also the same spiritual spark. By his karma he has become a learned pundit, and by his karma he has become a dog. But within the Are different body. Dehi na smin jatha dehi koma. Smin dehi in this body there is the soul. That is his vision. Uh, of course, externally it is not that I shall behave equally with the brahmana and the dog. Uh, that is, 
external behavior. But internally, we should know that both the brahmana and the dog, their spiritual spark. Uh, this is called brahmagyan. Brahmagyan means the knowledge of spiritual self. That is called brahmagyan. So when one attains this brahmagyan, then brahma bhuta prasanna atma na sochati na kha. Sama sarveshu bhuti su. Samata ikva. That is brahma gyan. So in this verse, Krishna says, Arjuna says, that jadraja sukhalo vena hantung sajanam puddha. So when we are killing animals for the satisfaction of our tongue, uh, this is Mahapata. Krishna Arjuna says, Ahavato Mahat Papa. Mahat Papa, great sinful act. Uh, great sinful act. If we want to kill anyone, uh, any living entity, for my satisfaction, either my tongue satisfaction or any sense satisfaction, it is Mahapatam, great sinful act. Because they are all sajan. You cannot kill. Uh, either you take this sense or that sense. But Arjuna is speaking in a limited sense. He is thinking of his own family members. But if one is actually in knowledge, brahma he thinks in the same way that the lower animals, they are also our family members. Uh, and if I kill him, uh, for my satisfaction, my sense satisfaction, it is great sinful act. Unfortunately, uh, everyone is killing for his sense of gratification uh, in the name of religion. Uh, in the name of religion, although it is prohibited, is still they are killing. Thus, imagine how much sinful activities they are doing and how they can be happy. Uh, that can happiness, of course, a hawk also thinks that he is very happy, that he is eating stool, living in filthy place, and because he has got the facility of sex life without any discrimination, he may think happy life, but that is not happiness. Uh, happiness is different thing. Sukham atam titam yatat otindriyagrayam. If you want to feel happiness by your this blunt material senses, that is not happiness. Uh, happiness is beyond your material sense. Atantika, that is real happiness. Uh, real happiness means it will never end and you will never feel satiation. I no more want. Uh, that is real happiness. Material happiness, there is no such thing. Uh, that you will feel immediately satiation. Uh, after enjoying any material happiness, a few minutes you will feel again another, again another, again another. <coughs> so, therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Sukham Atantikam Jatta. So, real joy, what is real happiness, that is not felt by this blunt material sense. So what is that sense? That is purified senses. Sarvapadi minin muktam tatparatina nirvana. When our senses are purified, tatparatena, for the sake of Krishna, when our senses are employed for the sake of Krishna, that is purified. Rishikena, Rishikesha, Sevanam, Bhakti, Richa. That is wanted. So here in the beginning, Arjuna is thinking in terms of his blunt senses. Uh, but the same thing we will do. Atantikam, uh, Utindriya, purified senses. Just try to understand. This is Krishna consciousness. Arjuna is now thinking, Jadrajya Sukhalo Vena, for the matter of getting kingdom and sense gratification, I am going to kill my kinsman. Uh, so it is great sin. Uh, that's a fact. If the uh, warfare 
in the Kurukshetra battlefield was for Arjun sense satisfaction, then it was a great scene. But actually it is not being done for Arjun's satisfaction. It is to be done for Krishna's satisfaction. So therefore the conclusion should be that whatever we do, if we do it for our own sense satisfaction, that is mahapa, uh, sinful activity. But if we do the same thing for Krishna's satisfaction, uh, that is spiritual advancement. Uh, this is the different. So outsider, they think that a karmi is working for his own satisfaction, uh, and a devotee is working for Krishna's satisfaction. Although two things are similar, uh, externally it appears the same thing, but there is great difference. Whatever you do for your own satisfaction, for the satisfaction of your whims, that is mahāpā, uh, great sin. The same thing when you do for Krishna, uh, that is opening your path to liberation, back to home, back to God. Uh, this is the difference. You have to change the consciousness, what you are doing, for whom you are doing. For yourself or for Krishna. This is Krishna consciousness. And that is the perfection of life. In whatever position you are, whatever you are doing, it doesn't matter. That is confirmed in the Srimad Bhagavad. Adapung vi dijasya varnasama vibhagasya sanusthitasya dharmasya sangsiddhi haritosana. Haritosana means to satisfy the Supreme Law, Hari. That is perfection. It doesn't matter what you are doing. Varnasama vibhagasya. First of all, whatever doing, it does not mean uh, whatever nonsense you are doing, uh, that will be accepted. No. Varna sama vibhagasa. According to Vedic civilization, there is division of varna, brahman, kshatriya, vaishya, surya. So activities must be done according to the varna sama pres- prescription. Uh, a brahmana is ordered to do like this, satya sama dhamma titikha arjava. You should practice this. A chatriya should practice this. Uh, and a vaisya should practice this. So that is therefore it is called varnasam. The prescribed duties are already there. Therefore, perfect human society means first of all there must be this division. Brahman, chatriya, vaisya. Uh, and when they act, the duties of that particular uh, position, Brahman, chatriya, for the satisfaction of Krishna, that is perfection of life. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you are a Sudra or you are Brahman, uh, but if you act for the satisfaction of Krishna according to the prescription of your position, then your life is perfect. Uh, that is one thing. The whole human civilization should be based on this principle. Uh, there must be division. The division is already there. They should be coordinated, uh, systematized. Uh, and not that everyone is Brahmana. Brahmana means the intelligent man. So we should pick up the intelligent man. Uh, they should be trained as Brahmana. Those who are martial, uh, having fighting spirit, they should be selected as Kshatriya. Those who are for uh, increasing money, mercantile mentality. They should be also collected, similarly Sudra, and they should be trained, everyone, to satisfy Krishna. Varnāsama vibhāgasa, sānuṣṭhitasya dharmasya saṅsiddhi haritosa. So here Arjuna is a fighter, he is engaged in fighting. Now he is thinking, uh, that is proper, he is Vaishnava, he is devotee, he is properly thinking that for my sense gratification I am going to kill my kinsmen. Oh, what a great sinful activity I am going to do. Uh, uh, But actually Krishna is not engaging his devotee to uh, act sinfully. No, that is not Krishna's duty. Although uh, 
uh, superficially it appears that Krishna is uh, engaging Arjuna to fight in the sinful activities. No, that is not sinful. Whatever Krishna does, it is not sinful, it is transcendental. The most pure activity. Uh, therefore, one, the, uh, the rascals who do not understand Krishna, they say that Krishna is immoral. They do not know what is Krishna and what is Krishna's action. They do not know. They think that Krishna is engaging Arjuna to fight. Oh, it is immoral. Why Krishna should engage Arjuna in the fighting business? So therefore, or why Krishna is engaged in dancing with the gopis, their wives and sisters of other men? It is sinful if we uh, enjoy with others' wife or others' daughter or others' uh, sister, uh, who is not bona fide my wife, if I want to enjoy life, that illicit sex. Uh, Krishna is not doing that. Uh, uh, but artificially, those who are nonsense, they see that Krishna is dancing at the end of night with others daughters and girls, uh, therefore he is immoral. Uh, but that means uh, he does not know what is Krishna. Uh, Krishna can do anything. Tejiya sāṅgana dosāya. Tejiya sāṅgana dosāya. He, just like the uh, sun, is very powerful. As you see in this material world, a sun, a material thing, uh, and it is very powerful. But uh, the sun is soaking water, uh, uh, taking water from the sea as well as from filthy place. See, he is also taking, uh, uh, what is called soaking or evaporating. evaporating, yes. Evaporating water from urine also uh, and filthy place where ditches is uh, evaporating water as well as from the sea. But it does not mean by evaporating water from the sweat ditch and urine, the sun is becoming polluted. No. Rather, he is standing that place, uh, uh, what is called prophylactic, antiseptic, by his sun sign. Similarly, even though somebody comes to Krishna with some purpose which is not moral, but the, the man or woman, who comes there, uh, he becomes, he or she becomes purified. And Krishna does not become immoral. The, this science has to be known by the rascals before calling Krishna immoral. Therefore, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Manusyalam sahasya su kaschit jatati siddhaya, jatatama pi siddhyana, kaschit betimam tattva. These rascals, they do not know what is Krishna. Uh, they think Krishna is ordinary man. Why is engaging Arjuna in the fighting? Why is dancing with others, daughter and girls? These are immoral. Therefore, uh, this rasa dance should not be discussed among the fools and rascals. They misunderstand. Uh, although the professional reciters, they take part. Whenever they speak of Bhagavata, they immediately jump over the rasa dance. That is not to be done. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu never indulges in such things. Uh, for mass of people, he engaged himself in Sankirtan. Uh, and when Krishna's dealing with the gopis were discussed, he was discussing among three selected devotees Ramananda Raya, Sarup and Sikimai. Uh, he had thousands and thousands of devotees, but he never discussed Krishna's rasila in the mass of people. Never did. That word is restricted. Uh, Krishna, because they will misunderstand. These rascals, they do not know what is Krishna, and they will misunderstand. They will be polluted. Uh, of course, not polluted, because they, after all they will hear about Krishna. But they may misunderstand, that is, against their uh, making progress through the spiritual life. Uh, so, Krishna is not immoral. Krishna is not engaging Arjuna to commit such sinful activities, sajanamti. Hatya. No. Uh, Krishna is engaging him in his service. Uh, so one has to understand that. Uh, 
So when Arjuna will understand that this uh, war, this fighting, is not for my sense gratification, it is for Krishna's sense gratification, then he agrees because he is a devotee. Kari seva chanamta. Yes, I shall now act. Uh, this is the proposition. The Atmendra Tripti Mancha Dhare Tarnam Kam. Kam means lust. What is lust? Lust means whenever you try to satisfy your senses, that is called lust. And the same whenever you try to satisfy Krishna's senses, that is love. Uh, practically, the same business, but personal and Krishna. So Krishna consciousness movement means we have to act everything for Krishna under proper direction. We cannot manufacture that I am doing for Krishna. Then there is another misleading. Uh, therefore, we require the guidance of the spiritual master. Uh, Krishna, Guru Krishna Kripa, that is Chaitanya Chaitanya Amrita. So you have to seek the mercy both of Krishna and Guru. Not that you have become so advanced that you are directly in connection with Krishna and whatever you are doing, it is mercy. No, don't think like that. It must be guided, it must be confirmed by Guru. Uh, Guru Krishna Kripaya Pai Bhakti Latabi, Bhakti Lain is there. So our business is, Krishna consciousness movement is that we have to uh, satisfy Krishna. Uh, that uh, refined by that Professor Zena, that one rogue, he did by his wings and he uh, alleged that after reading Bhagavad Gita violence, he committed this violence. Uh, so did he take permission from Krishna or Krishna's representative? But he does not know the technique. Uh, he has unnecessarily accused, committed a great offense to the lotus feet of Krishna. Uh, so therefore, uh, an inexperienced person, they should not try to teach Bhagavad Gita uh, to others because he has no knowledge. This knowledge has to be received by parampara system, even parampara praptam. So simply by academic area, by knowledge of ABCD, uh, you cannot understand Bhagavad Gita. Uh, the Bhagavad Gita is said, Bhaktosi Priyosi, uh, without becoming Bhakta. Therefore, Sanatana Goswami has forbidden that don't hear anything about Krishna from a person who is not a Vaishnava. A Vaishnava Mukhatakinna Puta Hari Kathamritam Savanamna Kartam. This is private. Uh, you, you cannot hear, because these audience or the students, they also do not know that here is a rascal, he is not a devotee, he is not a Vaishnava. Why should we hear from him Bhagavad Gita? The first uh, uh, condition is bhaktosi, uh, and the, in, the prohibition is also by acharya. The avaishnava mukhat ginna puta hari katha amrita samana nakat. Puta hari katha amrita. Hari katha talks of Krishna, they are by themselves pure. But still it is prohibited that if it is spoken by a Avaishnava, non-devotee, one should not hear, should not hear. Uh, must immediately reject. First of all we have to see who is going to speak about Krishna. Is it a devotee of Krishna? Is he a Vaishnava or not? If he is not, then immediately reject. Oh, we are not going to hear from him. But people do not know. Any rascal speaking about Bhagavad Gita, we hear. That is not the process. Then we will misunderstand. Avaishnava Mukha, Satpachishta Parayodhya, Tha. Just like milk is very good food, everyone knows. But when it is touched by the tongue of the serpent, it is poison, immediately. So we, should, we cannot drink poison. Don't hear Bhagavad Gita or any talk about Krishna from a person who is not a Vaishnava, who is not a devotee of Krishna, uh, will misunderstand. Uh, that's like what they will say. Then we will say, though, Krishna is engaging Arjuna for fighting, for committing so many sinful activities. No, that is not the fact. Krishna is engaging Arjuna, fighting, to fighting, just to serve his purpose. Uh, 
Paritrana Sadhuna Vinasaya to Vishrika. And Krishna is executing the mission of Krishna, not for his personal benefit. Uh, this has been said. Hmm. Well, that's all. Thank you very much.